Hey, what's going on? There is a question I often get from couples who are wanting to improve their marriage, and that is, hey, what are some great resources or some great books that we could read on marriage because we want to keep growing their marriage? So instead of answering everybody individually, I thought it's probably about time I create a video. So in this video, I want to give you my top five marriage books and tell you why I like them and why you should like them as well. That's what we're going to talk about today on Relationships. Hey, welcome to Relation Shots. If this is your first time hanging out with us, welcome to the place to get practical relationship device that actually can be applied in your relationship. Imagine that. If you have not already downloaded your free guide to intimacy, you'll see a link in the description area below. What I wanna talk about today are resources that you may be interested in for your marriage. I often get asked the question, hey, what are some good books that you recommend? What are some resources you recommend? So today I just wanna briefly discuss my top five books on marriage currently and this will change as i read more and more books as i do every month and every year and i'll put a link to the amazon um link that you can you can buy them on there as well i don't have an affiliate or anything but at least you can go find them if you're interested in them so these are my top five books in no particular order this is not a ranking five to one i'm just going through the top five so uh, the first book I want to talk about is Boundaries in Marriage. It's by Henry Cloud and John Townsend. If you have not read their Boundaries series, I would recommend all their Boundaries books. They started with a book called Boundaries, and then, of course, it was so successful, they branched off everywhere. Boundaries in Marriage, Boundaries with Parenting, Boundaries Face-to-Face -face for Conversations, uh, Beyond Boundaries for Dating Again after you've ended a relationship. Uh, but the reason I think this is a great book is because Boundaries are one of the keys to a healthy relationship. Too many times when relationships get unbalanced uh, and people start getting bitter, it is because there have not been healthy boundaries established which determine what you're in control of in the relationship and what I am responsible for in the relationship. And so what happens is oftentimes one spouse stops taking responsibility for the things they're supposed to be responsible for or maybe one of the spouses takes responsibility for things that their spouse is actually responsible for, but they are not taking responsibility. So whether you're trying to grab responsibility for stuff that is not yours to own, or you don't know how to own the stuff that is yours to own, boundaries are important. And this book helps you understand what boundaries are, how to establish healthy boundaries, communicate them clearly, determine consequences, make them known and maintain those boundaries so that you can have a healthy relationship. And it also talks about how we oftentimes misuse boundaries. So if boundaries is an area that maybe you're struggling in, or maybe it's an area you've never really talked about, this is a definite win for you. It's called Boundaries in Marriage by Henry Cloud and John Townsend. A second book is The Seven Principles of Making Marriage Work by John Gottman and Nan Silver. And this might be probably the foremost text on marriage because John Gottman and his wife Julie ran the Love Lab in Seattle for over two decades. And this book is backed by a ton of real life scientific research and evidence, everything from monitoring hearts to watching couples on videos to seeing couples in conflict. Um, John Gottman can give you with 80% accuracy watching a 10 minute conflict with a couple, whether they'll be married in five years. This book has all the principles that he has discovered of what makes marriages actually work and what causes marriages to fail. So if you're looking for a book that is backed by science, but it's not all scientific, it's super practical and it's applicable for normal couples like you and me, uh, this is a definite read. I really think this should be part of every married couple's uh, library or catalog of books, so you want to check that one out. Uh, the third book for me is kind of an old one, but I've just always liked it, and it's called Bringing Out the Best in Your Marriage, and it's actually two books in one, and it's by H. Norman Wright, and he has two books. It's Bringing Out the Best in Your Husband and then Bringing Out the Best in Your Wife, and they're both crammed into this one book, but this just gives you a ton of I think it gives couples good insight into you know what do husbands really want and need from their wives? What do wives need and want from their husbands generally? Uh, what are some things that we may be inadvertently doing that are hurting our husband or our wife because we don't understand what they desire, how they're wired and some of those things. So it gives you some real practical areas of maybe some things you can focus on 
but also some things that you can avoid in the relationship as well. And so for me, this is, a, again, it's an older book, but it's a, a book that, that has always been a, a useful resource for me and, uh, and some of the stuff that, that I try to teach and help couples with. So I would recommend that book as well. A fourth book, and this is specifically for Christian couples who really want to maybe focus on the spiritual aspect of the relationship, their spiritual intimacy. It's called Defending Your Faith by Tim Muehlhoff. And this book is just a great book all around the spiritual side uh, of marriage. If you're a Christian couple, then you believe that the marriage is a covenant between you, your spouse, and God. And there's a spiritual aspect to it. And so he talks about, you know, how to identify if something you're dealing with may be a spiritual attack. Some people, everything's a spiritual attack. <laughs> Other people, nothing is. And there's probably a, a middle ground that is balanced and healthy. And so he helps you identify what may be a spiritual attack. But I think probably the, the where I see the most value in this book is, is he really lays out the uh, authority and the protection that Christian couples have in the spiritual realm and how to use your spiritual protection uh, for the marriage, but also how to use your spiritual tools to, to fight for and warfare in marriage, whether that be the prayer or the word. And uh, so for couples looking to strengthen the spiritual intimacy side of their marriage, that's a great book called Defending Your Faith. And the fifth but not least book is Relation Shots by yours truly. Yeah, of course I'm going to have this book on there, but not just because I'm biased. Part is because I'm biased and it's my video, but part is also because the reason I created the book Relation Shots is because I felt like a lot of the other books that I have read over the years, and I've read dozens and dozens and dozens of books on marriage, probably no less than 50 at this point. I felt like a lot of them had good information or good principles at times, uh, but I felt like I was left to figure out how do I apply this practically to my relationship and then how do I have a conversation with my spouse about what I've learned and how we should implement that in our relationship. And so Relation Shots is 52 chapters, which means it's 52 weeks of relationship growth for couples. Each chapter is a new topic based on many of the relationship videos I've done where a couple can read through the topic learn maybe some principles or some things to avoid and at the end of the chapter are some questions for couples to help facilitate conversation together and there's a qr code that you can scan and come back and watch the youtube video i've done that corresponds to that chapter topic if you want to get my take on it and hear a little bit more about it as well so for me this really should be with with uh wedding season coming in the summer this really should be the number one gift on your list if you go to a wedding for newlyweds rather than getting them a blender or some other little hokey thing that's on their registry at target get them a tool that will give them 52 weeks every week for the first year of their marriage a concept a principle an area of relationship they can focus on to make sure they are building a strong foundation for their marriage. But that's not only for newlyweds. I just think it's a great newlywed gift. So I don't care if you've been married two years or 52 years. Part of the problem we have in our relationships is a lack of intentionality and a lack of consistency. And this book will give you 52 straight weeks of topics where you can read it at short. You can have prompts for a couple questions and if you want to watch a video that goes with it, you could do that as well. And of course, I'll have the link for that below as well. So those are my top five right now uh, marriage resource books. I would recommend you getting any or all of those books, but especially the last one because I think that's the best one. So hopefully that was helpful. That'll answer the question that a lot of couples ask me. Those will be my top five books right now. Leave a comment if you've checked any of those out. Let me know what your thoughts, or maybe leave a comment with your favorite book on marriage right now. Maybe I've missed your favorite book and I'm always looking for good books on marriage. So drop a comment, let us know your favorite book, maybe your favorite takeaway from that book, and I'll see you right back here next time on Relationships.